So I've had a few people on the channel now have asked me about queuing straight and how they go about practicing delivering that cue in a straight line. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some practice routines and some exercises you can do that's hopefully going to help you feel a bit better about delivering that cue in a straight line. Uh, now, the first thing to point out about um, delivering the cue straight is that it does take a bit of time to perfect. So in previous videos that I've made, we've talked about having a good pre-shot routine, how to walk into the shot, the basic setup with all different things to think about with your technique, slowing down the final backswing and delivering. But when it actually comes to delivering that cue, perfectly straight, nice and controlled in a straight line, it does take time. And over time, as you practice it, you will get better and better at controlling the cue. So let's have a look at some tips and some exercises to help you control the cue a bit better. So the first thing that's really useful when practicing delivering the cue in a straight line is using the balk line. And it is useful because you've got a reference point on the table. So you've got a line that's already drawn on the table for you. And then you can place your cue on that line. And then you can practice pulling your cue backwards and forwards and then delivering the cue. And you can use the line on the table to see whether you've delivered straight. A couple of things that I like to say to people when doing this is that I do say to people, walk into the shot properly. So you go through your pre-shot routine and you get down to the shot just as you would if you were actually potting a ball. So I say, use the brown spot as your, um, where your cue ball would be, and then stand behind the shot and walk into the shot and get down as you would on any other shot. And then what you can do as you get down is you can check to see, first of all, whether you have got your cue nicely on that line. So if I get down to this here, I can then have a look and go, has my cue dropped onto that line? And in this case, it has. It's nicely on the line that I want it to be on. So I'd be happy in the address position that my cue is on that line and I've got down to the shot correctly and picked the correct line of aim. So then the next step is we know that we're getting down and we're getting the cue nicely on the line of aim. So we're doing that part correctly. Then the next step is to actually practice your cue action on this line. So if I get down to this shot again and I get down on this one, I'm on the line of aim there. And then what I now want to do is practice my full cue action. So you want to come all the way back and all the way forward. And you're watching the cue throughout that whole motion to see whether you're staying on that line of aim. Now, when people practice this, sometimes I see people and they just get down to the shot and they're very quick and they just practice their cue actions on the line. What I like to say when you're trying to learn here is to really control the cue and almost do your cue actions in slow motion. So just get a feel for exactly what muscles control the cue as you pull it back nice and slowly. So if I get down to this shot again, what I like to do is feather up as you would and then just pull the cue back really slowly along that line so you can just feel what muscles control that cue. And then same again when you go forward, just get a feel for exactly what muscles control that cue and what muscles keep that cue on the line of aim. So hopefully there you can see how the balk line can be so useful for honing your own cue action. So it's useful for a couple of reasons. The first one is that you'll see whether you're getting down to the shot properly and successfully getting your cue nicely on that line of aim. And then the second reason is, is that when you're practicing doing your full cue actions, you'll be able to see whether your cue is veering off this line one way or the other. So that's why I say when you're practicing to do things nice and slowly. So you want to do a full cue action all the way back to your V and then all the way through to your chest and complete to the chest. And then you'll be able to see whether your cue is going maybe to the left or slightly to the right on the delivery. And so that's why it's so important to do it slowly because if it is, you'll get a better feel for exactly how you control the arm and stop the cue from veering one way or the other. So hopefully there you can see why the bulk line is so useful. Let's have a look at the next step then and the next little exercise you can do for practicing your straight cueing. Now the next thing to practice is hitting the white up and down the spots like this. So I've placed a little bit of chalk behind the black spot there so that that can be my target for me to aim at. And then I'm going to hit the white onto the black cushion and then back up the table. Now this is good because it means that you need to correctly get down on the line of aim, which in this case is straight down the spots. And then also you need to cue into the middle of the white and nice and smoothly to get the white to come back up the centre of the table again. Now when you first start out with this, it's a good idea to not play the shot too hard. So just hit it about um, a 4 or a 5 out of 10 in power, let the white go up and down the table and then hopefully you'll see if you're getting just a little bit of unwanted soil on the white 
on the way back up. The harder you hit this shot, the more difficult it is to remain accurate. So if you hit the shot really hard and you get a bit of unwanted side on the white, then the white will deviate off one way or the other. And you'll be able to see if you're putting either right or left hand side on the white. But when you're first starting off and you're trying to practice your straight cueing, just get down to the shot and don't hit it too hard and try and get it to come back up the spots again. So I'll stand behind the line of this one, get down to the shot. And there we go, not too bad. The white has come back and hit the tip of my cue. That's a good sign that I haven't got too much side on there and I'm happy that I've delivered the cue in a straight line. And now the final step to help with your straight cueing is to set yourself up with a nice straight pot to the corner like this. So I've set myself up on this red ball, but I haven't put too much distance between the white and the red. Now the reason for that is when we set pots up and there's not too much distance between the white ball and the object ball, then there's less room for things to go wrong. So if you haven't cued absolutely perfectly, you'll still manage to pot that red ball into the corner. So when you're beginning, put the white ball behind that red ball, not too far away, and just practice getting more accurate at potting that red into the corner. And then as you improve, you can increase the distance and move the white further and further away from that red until you're trying to pot that red with the white somewhere on the balk line. And then if you're managing to pot those, you're holding your cue into really high standards then, and that means you are very effectively delivering that cue in a straight line. But as I say, when you're first starting out, nice and close to the red, set yourself up with a nice straight shot like that and practice delivering your cue in a straight line. So have a look at that first one, do your feathers and then deliver in a straight line. And then what you can do is move the white further away from the red again, walk into the shot and then just practice delivering in a straight line again. And then as I say, if you keep increasing the distance then, and then you can eventually pot those balls when you're white on the balk line, you're holding your cue into very high standards then, and then you know you're going through in a nice straight line. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention in this video about practicing your straight cueing is that you don't always need to have access to a snooker table in order to get used to the feeling of delivering that cue in a straight line. So what I used to do, believe it or not, at home, is I would actually use the ironing board. So because you can set the ironing board up at whatever height you like, I would set it up so it was a similar height to a snooker table, and then you can practice getting down to the shop and delivering your cue in a straight line. And one of the things I used to do was place a bottle, something like this, on the ironing board, or any surface you've got. In this case, I'm gonna use a table that's a similar height. Place it on the surface, and then just practice pushing your cue through and seeing if you can avoid hitting the bottle so that you know you're pushing through in a straight line. So I would put the bottle down on the surface like that, practice getting down to the shot, do my normal feathers, and then delivering through the shot. Same again, deliver through the shot. Same again, deliver through the shot. And you know that if you're not touching that bottle and you're effectively delivering straight, then you're getting more used to delivering that cue in a straight line. So as usual, I hope you found this video useful. And I think the key things to think about in this video is that when you're practicing cueing straight along this balk line, is that you initially want to start off very, very slowly. And this is because when you first start off, I think you'll find it difficult to keep the cue perfectly straight on the way back and then perfectly straight on the way forward. But if you do it very, very slowly, you'll get more and more used to controlling your muscles and how it feels to keep that cue in a nice straight line. So once you've practiced that, you can then move on to playing the white up and down the spots and trying to get the white to come back in a nice straight line. And then you can move on to the straight shots into the corner and obviously work up to getting to the white onto the balk line. And then when you're potting a few of those long shots with the white on the balk line, you're well on the way then to having a really good cue action. So as usual, if you did enjoy the video, please give the video a like. And if you want to see more instructional tutorials, just like this one, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers.